Here's everything you need to know about composition in Blender under 6 minutes. To learn effectively, I like to break things down into three categories. Tools, concepts, and applications. Tools are the camera settings and guides you can use directly in Blender. Concepts are the principles and techniques of visually appealing compositions. Applications are practical techniques and guides you can use to combine tools and concepts effectively. Blender's camera provides several essential tools for composition. Focal length or field of view. Short focal lengths, which give a wide field of view, allow you to capture more of the environment, exaggerate depths, and create a sense of scale. They're often used for landscapes, architecture, or any shot where you want the surroundings to feel vast or immersive. Long focal lengths, meaning a narrow field of view, compress depths, bringing the background elements closer and flattening the scene. This effect is great for isolating subjects, creating intimacy, or simplifying busy environments. Perfect for portraits, product shots, and anything you want to shoot from afar. Lens shifting allows you to adjust your composition without physically moving the camera. Just like tilt shift lenses in photography, often used in architectural photography to correct perspective distortions. Sensor size. In real cameras, sensor size affects scene coverage and depth perception. Larger sensors yield shallower depths of field and wider views, while smaller sensors crop and zoom in. Blender replicates this behavior to shape space and framing. Depths of field. Real cameras control depths of field using aperture, sensor size, and focal length, affecting the image sharpness. Blender simulates this by allowing precise focus control, guiding viewers' attention through selective sharpness. Passparto darkens areas outside your camera frame, helping you concentrate on what the camera actually sees. Blender's built-in composition guides help structure your shot. The general rule of thumb is to place your subject near one of the intersections defined by these guides. We'll explore how they work in practice in the last section. You can also change the aspect ratio in Blender and the composition guides will update accurately. To take any scene and transform its composition into something visually pleasing, keep in mind the triple F framework. Focus. First, clearly identify your primary subject through contrast by brightness, color, shape, or isolation from surrounding elements. Frame. After selecting your subject, build the structure of your shot. Start by choosing your camera position. This determines how the viewer perceives your subject. Close and intimate, distant and detached, or anywhere in between. Then, arrange the elements within your frame to establish balance and clarity. Objects closer together appear related, and larger objects feel more important. Ensure a clear visual hierarchy so your subject remains dominant, unless you specifically intend otherwise. Try not to have too much crowding near or behind your subject, and always leave enough negative space so the frame can breathe. Flow. Finally, guide the viewer's eye intentionally across the frame. Use depth and layering to create foreground, midground, and background. Employ lines, curves, and character gazes to direct attention smoothly, acting like invisible arrows. This step ties everything together. It ensures your composition progresses like a story, guiding the viewer's eye through the scene with intention. Focus, frame, and flow build on top of one another and interact closely. Good composition leverages all three to create clear and compelling visuals. And if you'd like to dive deep deeper into these fundamentals, today's sponsor Skillshare has you covered. Being the largest online platform for creatives, there are some fantastic classes on visual storytelling, such as Mastering Cinematic Compositions in Video and Film by Jordi Vanderput, who you might recognize from the Cinecom YouTube channel. Pro tip, you can learn all about composition from real-world photography and videography here, and it'll translate perfectly to Blender. And you can actually watch this for free if you act soon, because the first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. Get started today. Now let's put these principles into practice with specific guides and techniques. Rule of thirds. Divide your frame into three equal parts vertically and horizontally. The four intersections created by the lines are points of high interest where you can place your subjects and it's generally a good idea to counter it with another object on the other side to balance the visual weight. The horizontal lines can be aligned with the horizon or even the character's eyes in close-up shots and the vertical lines can be used to align people or buildings. This is a versatile guide for all kinds of shots. Send composition. Position your subject precisely at the frame center to emphasize symmetry and stability. Make use of natural leading lines like roads or railings or frames like doorways or windows to ensure focus on the subject. Effective for architectural photography or scenes conveying power and calm. Some directors swear by it. Golden ratio, spiral and triangle. 
These guides are inspired by mathematical proportions found in nature. The golden spiral draws the viewer's gaze inward toward your focal point and can be a strong cinematic compositional tool when done right. Golden and harmony triangles use diagonal lines for dynamic framing, creating energy and visual tension suitable for dramatic storytelling and dynamic imagery. While these are great starting points, they're not to be followed as gospel. Rules are meant to be broken, but you have to know them first. The key idea of a good composition is to evoke a certain feeling that's relevant to the progression of the story while being easy to read for the viewer's eyes. And it's not just placement and framing that creates a good composition, it's also lighting. So if you want to learn everything about lighting under 6 minutes, watch this video next.